tools are new, handy, and powerful tool for auto code generation. So as we know, by using the ChatGDP preview interface GUI, you can always let AI to generate code for you. For example, write a quick sort you know, the in Python. Okay, in sec seconds, the ChatGDP will come back with the code chunk uh, you wanted. But the problem with that is, you know, the you have to actually the uh, copy paste this code chunk, and then you probably to move to the Jupyter notebook and then debugging and uh, executing the code over there because the ChatGPT interface cannot give you some kind of like a code, uh, you know the, uh, you know the, um, you know execution and debugging, you know the abilities. You cannot verify the code, right? So then you have to go to another place. But it's not uh, so convenient, right? You want to have it all in one place, yeah. So here it is. So this is some like a new tool I'm just, uh, found recently which is quite uh, interesting and quite uh, powerful. It can help you to write, edit, and chat about your code at, uh, with the ChatGDP as the backend. So it's in partnership with OpenAI, okay? And you can download whatever the version suitable for your um, laptop, no matter it's the Mac or like the Linux or the Windows, okay? It also has some of Discord community you can uh, you know, communicate with other members as well. Also, it have some open source GitHub repo. Okay, they already choose the fourteen thousand stars. It's very impressive, and it keep in growing. So, uh, according to its own introduction summary, you can see the cursor is the open source editor made for programming with AI. Although it all just in the early days. Uh, our development, but uh, it already can help you do a lot of things, such like the auto code generation, up to one hundred lines of code, and also um how to help you to edit the uh, code chunk. See the only the proposed changes. Also, you can um talk with the teacher ed the assistant. You know the using such kind of interactive interface, and also you can ask the AI to to help you to uh, fix, detect, fix the bugs, do the troubleshooting about the code, and many more. Okay, now let's have some hands-on on this uh, tool and see how it performs, okay? I just uh, already download and install this tool, and now I'm going to you know, create some new file, okay? So you can choose in the, some any programming language, you know, uh, you want. So you can see it's uh, supporting so many different languages, such like C, C Sharp, C++, you know, uh, uh, Go, you know, the HTML, Java, JavaScript, JSON Junior, you know, the uh, Markdown, Per, PHP, uh, Python, R, Ruby, Rust, um, C, uh, SQL, Swift, uh, TypeScript, XML, and many more, okay? So I'm going to use in the um, Python here, okay? So first task I want the AI to, to do for me is actually to generate some code for my purpose, okay? Um, write code in Python to detect a language in a given text. Okay, and provide a test case, okay? Okay, sorry. Um, just like a tool using quick, um, you know, shortcut command, make the prompt. Okay. So you can see it give me the code using open source language land detect the packages for this one, and then using the some like the some sample in French, then detect the the uh, language. Sounds nice. Here I want a bit like a more you know the user friendly. So I can say like uh, mm, can you mm, output format as um, language detected language? Okay. 
Voila, you can see language detected, language. Okay, then that is what I need. That is quite cool. So <clears throat> I say I can accept all. And the next uh, task I want the AI to do me is that is on, let's say, on top of the, you know, the uh, language detection. Mm. Also, um, translate the text into English, German, Italian, and Spanish. Okay, um, and uh, give a test case uh, with a sample uh, text uh, about who are, let's say, golden brick countries in Jap Japanese, okay? Okay, interesting. It just like using the Google Translate uh, packages and then do the transcriptions and so on and give me trans uh, translate the original text in uh, Japanese uh, into the, uh, you know, the text in English, German, Italian, and Spanish. Okay, and uh, sounds great. And this is the original text. So you can see English translation, the term good, then break countries, refer to the countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, and so on. Okay, nice. And um, now I want to actually know a bit more about the language detection and the translation library, right? So then I can ch chat with the uh, virtual assistant, okay, uh, with my AI assistant. So in this case, just like uh, open the chat, you know, the how many language this uh, um, um, and detect uh, package, you know, uh, support, okay. To demo how many languages I'm going to get this example of how to demo how many refer to the doc document to using the get language functions. Okay, nice. The language paper over 55 language. Okay, cool. So how many languages the, the Google Translate uh, library support? Okay. okay. To tell how many languages support, we refer to the documentations or using the uh, languages dictionary provided by library from apply output 107 languages supported. Oh, that is very impressive. Cool, okay. And, um, okay. And also, is there any other, you know, the open source or APRs available for language detection? Okay. There are several open source and API packages available. Here's a few examples. Text blob, okay, nice. Okay, it's a, it's a classic uh, natural language processing packages and uh, so on. And also the fast text, okay, is also another one to language IBM Watson language translator. And just a few examples, many open source APIs options available for language checking. That's brilliant. You can see, and uh, you can ask this app tools to generate the code automatically for you. And also you can um, uh, let it modify the code, add additional functionalities. You can chat with this AI assistant, asking the any questions about the code, as well as you can also let the AI tools to help you to detecting and fix the bugs in your code. And it's supporting so many, you know, the dozens or dozens of languages. Just have some try and see how it can help you to dramatically improve the software learning and uh, development productivity for you. Okay, thank you. That is quick uh, over today. See you next time.